In today's video, I'm going to show you how I uploaded my book to Barnes & Noble. Yes, I have also removed Barnes & Noble from my distributors in draft digital Just like KDP, Barnes & Noble pays 70% royalties. The things that you need to have on hand is your W-9 form and the account to where you will be paid. For me, it is my business account, so I need the routing number as well as my account number. So once you have all that in hand, come on over and I'll get started. I'm not 100% sure I already opened an account here, but we'll check it together. And apparently, I have an account. Let's start with manage account. Oh, tells me I have no phone number. I'll do that later. And let's go down. And publish your book with Barnes & Noble. They also have a 70% royalty for ebooks. This is also higher than draft to digital Let me start this registration and you can see exactly what it is as I do. Publisher's name. Website, which is pretty easy. H T T P S Yes, I am a US citizen. Taxpayer type, here we go again. S Corp. And this is for the W-9 information. It's pretty easy. You will have 30 days to submit your W-9. Make sure all the information is correct. Sign and date it. And then just email it to this address or you can send a hard copy. Of course, it is so much easier to send by email. I put in my banking information. Right now, the account is pending. We'll jump right back as soon as it's good to go. Although the status of my vendor account is now active, I still have this little issue that I believe will be fixed after a quote unquote human person actually sees my W-9 form. Let's create. I'm going to start with the ebook because you can also do print with Barnes and Noble. So I'll start with the ebook and do the book title. Now, as I said, this is a pre order, so what I'll be doing is taking it off of pre order from draft to digital and 
having it straight on Barnes and Noble. It asks you if your interior file includes your cover. Of course, for me, it's automatic when I create my files to upload. So I will hit yes. Okay. Now it asks me to review the proof or digital download before continuing. Now, when I create my files, I always check them. Make sure you check that you have reviewed and you approve of your manuscript. Let's go next. Now for your sample, you can pick what you want, but I'm just going with the default sample of 5% and continue on. Next is the cover. Of course, I have reviewed my cover. My cover is good to go. It's a pre-order, so let's put that date in. And the date is June 25th. Is it part of a series? No. I also have the HTML code. And if you'd like to know where I got my HTML code. I use Kindlepreneur Book Description Generator. The link will be below. Okay, next. Okay, now it just wants the author's name. Well, of course. You can fill this out if you want to. I don't. If your book has more than one author or you want to put down editor such and such, you can just click on, on the plus button and you'll get a drop down. But for me, yeah, one name. Now the fun part. And just like KDP, you're going to select your audience and your categories. So let's start. For this book, I would say general adult language English. It is a fiction. So now it's time for me to search the categories. Let's try the uh, sci-fi and see what happens. Fantasy fiction, okay. No dark. Ah, that's what I want. Dark. Okay, keywords. You always gotta have those keywords. And for me, I already have keywords made for this, so all I gotta do is just copy and paste. It will only allow 100 characters, so let's take a gamble and see how many I can put in. Oh, it says none remaining. I guess it took them all.
Now the retail price is which means I make two dollars and nine cents on each copy of this book. If you're wondering about the DRM encryption, let's take a look. Basically, it's just to prevent, you know, someone from copying your book. And you can only do it once, whether you do or you don't. That is up to you. Then, of course, is the content in the public domain? Do I have a ebook specific ISPN? Well, yes, I do. All my books do. Even though it says that I don't need one, I put one on it anyway. Let's make sure I've got the right amount of numbers. One, two, three, four, thirteen. Yes. Continue. If you happen to have any advanced reviews, you can add them here. Only five, though. If you don't have any, as it says, skip this step review this book. Check, check. Yeah, that is correct. It's not. Yes, yes. Yes. Ah, this is the other thing that I like is I can actually create a promotion with Barnes & Noble. That's not something that's easily done just using Draft to Digital. You usually have to wait until one of the stores decides they're going to do a promotion and they want to include your book. Okay, right now it does not have a URL. So put on sale, in other words, publish. They let you know that it can take up to three days for your book to appear on bn.com. Ancestors Magic is going through publishing and the on sale is pending. My Barnes & Noble account is now set up, and I have my first book published. Now, if your book is already being distributed through an aggregate such as Smashwords, Publish Drive, or draft to digital and you want to publish right through Barnes & Noble, you're going to have to delist them out of those aggregates. If you would like to publish directly to Barnes & Noble, I have left their links below. And if you have any questions, leave those below too. And until next time, I will see you later.